me to start over? Why don't yeah, I think, I think why don't we start from scratch? Yeah, yeah. 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 have the okay. same light quality. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, I'm Ulva Erlingsson. Uh, I was here in the graduate program in the computer science department at Cornell in the 90s, and uh, I'm now with Google. Okay, and while you were here, um, did you have a particular emphasis on your research? On, in your research? Yeah, uh, so I did research in computer security. Uh, so I worked uh, primarily with Fred Schneider and Greg Morissette, who was here then uh, and is now uh, at Harvard. And uh, we focused on um, a style of doing computer security policy enforcement called inline reference monitors, uh, which really uh, derived from some work that Fred Schneider had done uh, earlier uh, in the 80s. Okay, and how do you feel like your Cornell education helped you in your uh, future career path? Uh, well, my Cornell education uh, basically uh, has shaped my entire career. Uh, so uh, I've done a number of things. I've been a professor, I've done startups, I worked for uh, an industrial research lab, and I now work for Google where I run a, a security research group as we're doing sort of uh, research in uh, computer security topics. And uh, I would say that my Cornell PhD education has been absolutely critical to all aspects of every position I've held, uh, even the topics. Uh, so computer security is something I started working on. I'm really a systems and programming language person uh, by nature, but computer security is a big problem. And uh, both systems methods and programming language methods are applicable there. And so that's basically consumed uh, most of my career. Uh, I should also note that uh, very influential in my career was uh, an internship that I did at the Digital Equipment Corporation Systems Research Center uh, in uh, the late 90s. And uh, that's, again, a connection that I would not have been able to uh, make uh, if it had not been for my uh, role then as a graduate student at Cornell and the connections that the uh, professors had to that industrial research lab. Um, so could you talk a little bit more about what you do at Google and, and um, why you would maybe hire a, a Cornell student over an, another student? Yeah, so uh, my group at, at Google actually looks into topics in computer security that are not being uh, currently applied at Google or not being uh, necessarily invested in. And so computer security is, a, is, in general, it's just a horrible topic. And, and I say this having worked my entire career on it because it keeps getting worse. There, there's very few good solutions and the solutions that actually are in place uh, are uh, quite ineffective at times. So, so, so even though there's a lot of technology, there's a lot of investment and interest and so on, uh, the problem that sort of normal pe people face and companies face actually keeps getting worse. And, and we've uh, uh, certainly in the last few years seen some of the effects of that, like uh, intrusions into major companies and institutions by uh, foreign governments like Chinese hackers and so on, and uh, the Snowden affair and revelations about uh, various other governments doing various forms of uh, computer based uh, hacking and spying. And uh, that's just one particular aspect. There's a whole sort of underground economy and so on that's also grown up, uh, people making money off the insecurities of networks. So, so given that, uh, Google, uh, as an organization, felt that they should not leave any avenue unexplored and they should have basically a group whose job it is to see if there are useful pieces of technology that are out there or, or need to be developed further that uh, might be useful uh, immediately or like it, within a few years and that are not being currently investigated by, by any of the other technical teams. And so that's what my team does. It's, it's very much like a, a research group, except like all things at Google, uh, it's very applied. So we're not trying to push the state of the art for pushing the state of the art's sake, but we're trying to push the state of the art to actually bring concrete benefits to users, uh, either directly or indirectly. Now, as to why I would hire a person from Cornell, uh, I would say a top tier education and the fact that uh, if it's, uh, I mostly hire PhDs. So, so already the level of incoming uh, PhD students at, at Cornell uh, is, is very high. And then the education they get and the people they get to work with uh, is absolutely stellar. And um, this is both on, uh, uh, 
sort of the formal side, which uh, Cornell is quite well known for, actually thinking about things in a principled fashion. So my advisor, Fred Schneider, is, is, is famous for pushing people to uh, do their thinking in a principled way and not an unprincipled manner. Uh, but uh, also simply in, in terms of systems. And so I think it's a phenomenally strong systems group and a programming language group uh, that we have here with, with Gunn, Nate Foster, uh, Andrew, etc. And so students that have actually have worked uh, with those people and built uh, real working artifacts, and that's again, it's a running theme in, in uh, the work in both the programming language and systems groups of they're trying to build useful artifacts, not just get papers published. Uh, those are exactly the type of people we like to hire at, at uh, Google. That's great. Um, so what do you think about um, the new Gates Hall and um, how the computer and information sciences is, is evolving? I think the building is fantastic. It, it just, it's really beautiful and, and it seems extremely uh, sort of well designed and uh, efficient. Uh, the, the offices are bright but not too bright and a uh, good sort of space for both the professors and the students. Uh, lots of, so, so I've been extremely uh, sort of impressed by the quality of the building. And I say this uh, sort of noting that a bunch of other Gates buildings, because this is a Gates building like at many other uh, top tier uh, academic institutions and many of them are not all that nice. So they, they actually have long, narrow, uh, sort of dark corridors and, uh, and many other uh, sort of negative effects that, that this building doesn't have at all. So I, I really like, especially with, you know, Ithaca weather, you, you want sort of a nice, bright building, and this one definitely is that. Uh, in terms of how the computer and information sizes is evolving at, at Cornell, I think Cornell has done a really fantastic job spearheading sort of the integration of all of the sciences and even some of the arts with computing uh, uh, in a way with that sort of other uh, departments and, and uh, universities uh, have followed and should follow. And uh, I see that as computing is becoming sort of intrinsic to almost everything. So even in the uh, liberal arts, big data type techniques are uh, really groundbreaking for a lot of the types of investigations that you want to uh, look at, like how did these ideas uh, sort of get propagated over time and so on are, are exactly the type of, types of uh, investigations that big data can be very helpful with. And then you really have to know how to use computers and, and so therefore you really want to bring computing to the entire university. And I think you know, Cornell has done a fantastic job there and, and really spearheaded that trend in, in uh, the U.S. at least. Excellent. Thank you so much. Is there anything you want to add? No, it's just always great to come here and uh, hope to come many times in the future. Um, congrats on the new building. Is there, actually there's, there's one more thing that that um, might be of some use to us and, and that's, you know, that uh, CIS just, or I'm sorry, Computer Science just celebrated its 50th anniversary. Yes. And so we've been talking a lot about what's happened in the past and what's going to happen in the future. Um, so what would you like the computer science department at Cornell to look like or concentrate on the next 50 years? Yes. Um, so I think the, the in, in terms of, so, you know, it's fantastic that, uh, you know, Cornell was one of the first universities to have a real computer science department and congrats on the 50th birthday. I'd say I would imagine that the computer science department in another 50 years would be dramatically different. So I'd actually imagine that a lot of things that are in the computer science department now would be sort of across the entire university. In, a, in one sense that the computer science department has taken over the d university and that computing is used everywhere, but in another sense that actually the computer science department would have diffused into all of the other areas and what's left in the actual computer science department would probably be sort of more the uh, theoretical investigations and, and sort of the pure applied mathematics uh, of computing. So uh, things like programming languages and so on and uh, system building, uh, etc. might be, uh, you know, more done in some engineering school at, at that time. So, um, so in a, in a sense, that would be a big 
win for the computer science department, but in a, in a, in another sense, it would actually mean potentially a smaller department because simply the a lot of the activities that are right now in the the department will uh, be elsewhere uh, because the department will be everywhere. Great. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks.